volubility scanning using Nessus. So now guys in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all we will learn about how to perform volubility scanning using Nessus network volubility scanner and how you can generate a report of volubility scanning using Nessus. So let's talk about volubility scanning using Nessus. So Nessus can provide all information about volubilities in machines. For example, if a network has 10 machines and if you run Nessus inside that network, so Nessus can provide you all the volubility details about all the machines available in the network. And remember, it works on port number 8834, right? It can provide list of vulnerabilities according to IP address. Yeah, it lists all the vulnerabilities according to the IP address. For example, if there are 10 machines, so it provides you 10 different IP address and according to the IP address, you will find the particular vulnerability so that we can collect the vulnerabilities using the particular IP addresses. So now in the previous video, we have successfully downloaded and installed Nessus Network Vulnerability Scanner. And now I'm going to show you that how you can use Nessus Vulnerability Scanner to find out vulnerabilities in network. So guys, uh, it's quite simple. Uh, you need to just search Nessus Web Client inside your search box and you will find the link. So inside my window, I can search here Nessus Web Client and here you can see the link. Click here and open this. So here it is going to open inside my browser and here it is. So now uh, it is asking my username and password. So we have already know our username and the password. So admin admin is the username and password and click sign in. Here it is. So you can see here that this is the Nessus graphical user interface. So guys, now I'm going to show you that how you can scan your network or a particular machine using Nessus. So you can click on new scan. Click on advanced scan. Now it is preparing for the scan. You just need to wait here and here it is. So you need to type the name of the project. For example, network scanning description. You can type just simply scanning target. For example, if I want to scan my windows machine, so you need to find out the IP address. So open your command prompt and type IP config. Check your IP address. So IP address is 192.168.0.2. Type here the target 192.168.0.2. Right. This is just for one machine, right? So, uh, for example, if you want to perform scanning on 50 machines, and uh, this is your first machine, and your final machine is 192.168 dot zero dot sixty for example so all the machines inside this range will be scanned all right so now i'm going to scan just one machine here which is my windows machine so click save and here it is tick here and click launch so now you can see that it is running scanning is running double click here and you can see that it has already found 40 vulnerabilities but these vulnerabilities are info right so I don't have any uh, critical high medium or low vulnerability in my machine and you can click on vulnerabilities to get information about all the vulnerabilities available in the particular machine or in the network right so you just need to wait here right and uh, more machines means will take more time all right so this is the basic information and you can check here 14 vulnerabilities but all are info part so if you want to check click on any vulnerability read it about it how you can solve this problem so everything is written inside Nessus so this is a basic information about how you can scan a particular machine inside Nessus wait click on my scan and you can stop this or you can wait for the completion let me stop it now how you can create a report of this so open this and here you can export for example, if I want to download it in HTML format, so I can click export and now it is exporting. Let me open this inside Mozilla Firefox. Click here and open it inside Mozilla. 
So here you can see that uh, this is a report created by Nessus Network Vulnerability Scanner for just for one machine, right? So you can see here there are only 50 info part. If you click on show details, you will get information about all the information. You can also export the report in PDF format or in other format as well. So this is a basic information that how you can use Nessus to scan a particular machine or a complete network very easily, right? So this is all about Nessus. If we talk about the section summary that what we have learned in this section. So first of all, we have learned about the scanning process of IP addresses. Then we have learned about how you can perform port scanning using Nmap. Then we have learned that how you can install Nessus inside your machine. And then we have learned finally how you can scan for vulnerabilities using Nessus. So this is all about this section and I hope you have enjoyed it. In the next section, we are going to learn about network pen testing, network host exploitation with AV bypass mechanism. Thank you.